Hello, this is Pastor Jose, and I'm your financial pastor. Don't forget, I shared in the last video that we need to be writing down all our debt. This little booklet here, whoa, 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 25 cents at Walmart is your biggest blessing, okay? We need to be writing down all our spending, all the money that we're spending that's creating us or putting us into debt. Now, we can look at debt from two points of view. One is my desires. Number two, it could be our spending habits. You know, we've, for years we've been spending money. We make it, we spend it. And is that really the way we want to do things? Uh, I don't think it's going to help us that way. So, you know, we have to be very careful because it says in Psalm 24.1, the earth is the Lord's and everything in the world and all who live in it, okay? This verse is informing us that God owns it all, but he is willing, this is big, God is willing to allow us the right to handle whatever he provides for us, any amount of money or the other kind of blessings he provides. Most of us eh, were never taught really how to handle a budget. We were never taught how to do a budget. So we're understanding that all, when we understand that it all belongs to God, that changes the whole program. I never knew it belonged to God. But when I found out it belonged to God, now I knew who I had to work with and who could help me. Now, are you ready to move to a place of finding God's peace and handling finances? If you're ready, then your next step is keeping records of all your spending. Remember the little booklet. You're going to keep all your documentation on here. Not your mortgage payment, but all your know, the candy bars, the coffee, all that stuff. You're going to put it all here because that's going to give you some real numbers because most people don't put down, you know, what they spend for coffee. They just spend it. That's it. Brothers and sisters, it takes about 90 days to come up with some true numbers to come up with a spending habit that program that we know we've been doing. We must be willing to commit to winning the battle, which is debt, so you become financially free with God. So we are willing to put God into the program. It will become real. In our next video, we'll continue to becoming, continue the teaching of becoming debt free through this teaching, but I'm going to change it a little bit. We're going to go into the emergency fund. 62 to 72 percent of Americans do not have an emergency fund. We need it because of an emergency fund. Myself, my personal expenses, plus our ministry, has been able to go through this pandemic. So I wait to share more with you. It's a blessing being here with you, and I just hope you're going to be blessed as we go into the next teaching. Bye.